if you have a zero budget for your marketing this video is for you so stay tuned I wanted to share with you if you have a zero budget in your marketing it's no problem you still can do marketing so this is video where you can use and utilize if you have a maybe no budget to less budget uh, that you can use so that you can still run your marketing without any problem so I have 10 ways that you can do and this is the real way that have been done so far and has been success to all my business all the clients and also the the way I do my own marketing myself so if you want to get the result so this is where you have to watch the video until the end if you have no budget it's no problem because why it, you can you can give no excuses because uh, yes uh, if you want to do marketing you want to get success you have to invest if you don't want to invest your money then invest your time this is where I learned the most which is it's okay not to have a bigger budget but you have bigger time so it's a no problem it still can be done how you can do this is first you have to subscribe and like this video so that I can give more and more content uh, for for you guys to you know to utilize your marketing to help you to grow your business so anyway let's go to the first one first thing first you need to invest in quality content what do I mean by that is obviously marketing is all about content uh, you have to be everywhere your message needs to be simple and easy to understand so that's why first thing first you have to invest in quality content learn how to do engaging copywriting I always see this uh, so many times because people like to read eventually second one is to for you to learn or to create an interactive design it's very simple you can use Canva Photoshop just a five minute uh, design is also can or you can you just you use your image but you have to be interactive and then you have to create your storyline so this is where quality is important for your message to be delivered how much does it cost zero do the call method alright so everyone I think everyone knows what is the call method is which is you know call calling call emailing call approaching offer to speak or get an appointment so how much does it cost zero call calling you just pick up the phone and talk to them yeah. and then call emailing as well you can email to the all people that you want maybe you can get one or two clients from that right call approaching same as well if you get rejected it's okay there are more client potential customer that you get after that and then you have to offer to speak or get an appointment after you uh, capture their attention you have to offer to speak or to get an appointment then we go to the next one number three all right this is where i uh, the most important thing because not everyone leverage this social media uh, first you need to understand that social media is free free for everyone you can post anything that you want and such to invest your time in how to put your content in social media how to deliver your message in in the social media so that people understand what are you uh, trying to sell what are you trying to approach so that's why you need to identify your audience in social media maybe your audience in, in Facebook is different from Twitter maybe it's different from Instagram maybe it's different from YouTube so how so you have to do it as well because if you're not then you are going to lose your potential customer and potential customer or potential buyer and then second one you need to get your content all over your social media uh, right now there are I think more than seven popular social media in in the world right now so how much does it cost again zero because why you need to understand the algorithm how Facebook work how Instagram works how Twitter works how YouTube works, how LinkedIn works so you need to understand okay this kind this is uh, social me this social media doesn't suit to post like in Facebook so you need to change a bit uh, in terms of the content okay this the timing of the post needs to be different from this social media so you need to know that uh, the content is going to be a bit different and this is number one and uh, number three you need to understand that you cannot sell too much in social media because every day people are seeing content that's selling all over the place so as you can see that Facebook ads and then people like uh, you know uh, selling their selling their stuff selling their product for selling a service so you, you don't need to sell that much but you need to impress them more and then eventually they will come later on so you need to understand that you cannot sell too much on social media you can but don't sell you go to number four you have to leverage communities and traffic all right uh, I do believe that some of you guys have Facebook or LinkedIn group that you are joining but 
what's the purpose of you jo joining the, the group obviously you need to leverage it you need to push your your, your, your product or services your content uh, what are you selling selling what are you selling what the features and benefits that we, they will get if they invest in you so this is where facebook and linkedin group gives a lot of impact so use facebook and linkedin group as much as you can because i use it as well and it gives me a lot of benefit and to my other customers also they use it and they see a lot of impact just join all the group that is relevant and suitable for you okay number two is shopee use shopee lazada or amazon so this is what we call third-party platform e-commerce platform that you can use if you're selling a product it is it is a uh, a good platform that you're going to, to use because Shopee, Lazada, Amazon receive thousands, millions of users every single day that going to purchase something. They don't go to the store, but they go to their mobile phone. So why are you not there? First, you need to understand how Shopee, Lazada or Amazon work, works. What is the popular product there? How they are marketing there? How, the, how to get a good review there so you need to understand the platform itself for you to market and leverage their traffic because to gain that kind of traffic is very hard you know to get that kind of followers or maybe your reach is very hard so why don't you leverage this if you are in property then go to Airbnb use Airbnb if you're selling products Shopee Lazada is the best right so identify what you are selling and you you can find this kind of platform that you can leverage their communities or and traffic and then the, num, num, third, the third one will be forums, Reddit and Quora. Alright, so what do I mean by this is Reddit and Quora is part of the strategy that I use a lot as well. Uh, I used to um, answer questions in Quora and Reddit as well. Uh, eventually, it gives me a lot of impact there. And a lot of website traffic comes from uh, Reddit because the blog that I post there, the blog or the content that I post there gives a lot of impact because correct. So we go to number five. Now, open up your phone, okay? scroll your WhatsApp, your Telegram, your Facebook, or your LinkedIn connection, all that you have. Use them to use them for you to promote your product. How much does it cost again? Zero. Because why? You have been contacting them and also you have been connecting with them, right? Your friends, your family, your co-worker, your social media connections. Why don't you sell to them first before you go to others? Because why? First, friends and family will support you no matter what. So eventually they will buy from you. Number uh, number two, the trust is there because you are selling to the someone that you are have to having trust to you. So yeah, you need to leverage the kind of trust, okay? And then you have your own coworkers. Maybe coworkers, uh, you know, the one that you are very nice and such. So you can get them to you know help them to maybe share your content, maybe share your product or services. So why not, right? And then you have your social media connections. You can contact with them. Just post your, uh, just post, just post a message to them and say, and say that okay, hi, hi, I'm doing this right now, and uh, I, I am going to, you know, I'm, I am very serious about this, this project or maybe this product and such. So if you, if you don't want to buy it, maybe you can share it to others. So yeah, simple as that. How much does it cost again? Zero. How much effort and and time that you have to put in? Of course, a lot in terms of content and also to strategize, strategize your. Uh, strategize this leverage to them to, the, to your to your existing customer or contacts so it's very simple right okay now we go to number six asking for referral so this is where uh, what what most people afraid to do or maybe shy to do because why asking for referral is is like okay give me uh, okay you buy my product uh, can you give me referrals no you don't have to be shy about it it is okay to ask for referrals because Maybe your own customer, existing customer, have that problem. Maybe their friend has it. So when you ask for referral, they will think about it. They will say that, oh, I think my friend needs this. Oh, maybe my wife needs this. Oh, maybe my mom needs this. So that is a referral that you are going to use. A simple term that is rarely people using, which is asking for referral. Okay, this is a quick, uh, a quick fact. You know, it's harder to earn new customer. Because why? You have to invest a lot of time or maybe a lot of money to earn a new customer. But once you get them, it's easy to sell to them. Because why? The existing customer know your product, know your services, know your customer service. So eventually, if they like you, they will repeat the order again. But new customer, you have to convince them. You have to give them promotion, discount, offers, and everything. 
so that will that one will be uh, on the another topic so use this kind of method asking for referral how much does it cost just a ask for referral three sing three words okay how much does uh, time and effort i would say five seconds uh, do you uh, do you have anyone that interested in my products simple right so this one doesn't cost you time and effort and also doesn't cost you any money just a just your just a three single word will be will be you know eventually get you the result that you want okay now we go to number six seven uh, affiliate program so yes this is one of the one of the one of the uh, traditional ways to do uh, to get zero marketing budget which is to use affiliate programs which is you give permission and incentive to the one that promotes your product or maybe clues for you so some of it maybe you can offer 10 percent commission or maybe 10 percent incentive or maybe add any other suggestion that you do usually i ask my customer to use this commission and incentives okay then number eight offer them something okay so this is where this is uh, the the most people use business use right now which is the coupon and discount the most easiest to do is to give them coupons and discounts which is coupon is when they get it okay they can use it and discount when you set an amount of time to them they will eventually buy from you because why there there are sense sense of urgency there people will be like oh okay okay the the time is almost up so uh, i need to get this discount so that is an impulse buying decision so offer them something coupons and discount how much does it cost zero uh not zero but uh maybe your yeah i would say zero marketing zero marketing budget and also what is the uh time and effort of course the plan and the time that you have to invest okay all right this is uh the second last one online contest so you have to be unique and creative in terms of giving something to do to your own customer or your marketing because why uh people like this kind of strategy to give them you know a boost to oh okay i need to join you i need to be part of you i need to be part of your community be part of your part of your customers because why when you you do the online contest like this a promotional giveaway and contest is a true way to build the awareness and introducing your business to potential customer so do you understand what i'm not sure if you understand what that means but eventually it's very simple if you run an online contest the engagement will be massive trust me i've done that and the engagement is so massive that is that everyone will know your brand but but it's easy so consider online contest on your marketing marketing zero marketing strategy trust me okay and i think the last this is the last one will be the human respond queries all right this is where most people don't want to uh uh, don't want to go there because why when responding to you uh, to queries they will be like getting feedbacks getting uh, responses from the customer for me when you sell to them or give them the service or your, your products some people will give reviews maybe better reviews but bad reviews but you know eventually you have to take time to answer those questions what can you need to take time to answer those kind of question you have to spend more time on cast uh, answering your question your customers questions okay and also i do believe this is the simple and the most cheapest way to prove that you're an authority figure it can get you noticed by a entirely new audience okay so thank you so much uh, you guys for for listening to my babble again today so because this is most important some of you guys maybe don't have the budget to do marketing maybe not maybe you guys don't have any budget maybe you guys have lesser budget so this is where i want to for you guys to realize that eventually marketing is not about budget it's not about the it's not about who got the biggest budget but it's all about how can you utilize the resources that you have into a good content or maybe a good marketing strategies so you have to think about it okay once again if you don't uh, if you don't mind please do subscribe and okay all right so thank you so much again and i will see you again in the next video thank you so much bye